I bought as many Lay's chips as possible in Vietnam and here are the rankings. Hey, it's Jess, the fun size foodie, and I've eaten and explored in over 12 countries and 30 plus major cities. I finished a trip to Vietnam and Thailand a while ago, and while we were there, we went to a family mart and I noticed all the different snacks they had in Vietnam. The most interesting to me were these Lay's chips with flavors I've never seen before, so I brought every single flavor I saw, bring them back with me to the States so I could taste them and show you guys. I literally had a suitcase full of snacks, the lightest suitcase ever. So I have five different flavors here and after tasting each one, I'm going to rank them. Let's get started. Okay, at Family Mart, I saw these flavors. We have nori seaweed, which is Japanese. We have uh, Texas Tenderloin Steak, which is from America. Ooh, wavy. Okay, we got Korean Spicy Chicken with Cheese, which is Korean. And now we have Brazilian Barbecue Pork Rib, so from Brazil. Um, the only thing that was actually like Vietnamese flavored is the pho ball had no it, but a staple of Vietnamese cuisine. So I'm gonna save this pho one for last because I'm super curious about this one. Okay, let's try the nori seaweed from Japan. Oh shit. There you go. Oh, it smells kind of like shrimpy. Mm. Oh, that is <coughs> like seaweed. Oh, I got some of the powder in the back of my throat. Tastes like, like salt and seaweed, but like a little bit of shrimp flavor. That's pretty good. Oh, here are the ingredients. Okay, potato. Oh, there is shrimp flavoring on this. Do that. 61% potato, vegetable oil, nori seaweed seasoning, which is 7%. And in that seasoning, there's some shrimp, garlic, ginger, and then it's funny because it says seaweed 0.7%. Okay, now I'm gonna try the Texas tenderloin steak. Oh, and it's wavy too. Oh my God, these are hard to open. In America, it's so easy to open lace chips. Okay. I guess it smells like meat. It tastes kind of cheesy. It doesn't taste like a steak. It's good, but it doesn't taste like a steak. It's like sweet. I guess it tastes kind of meaty, but it doesn't taste like a steak. Like it tastes like a protein. Almost like barbecue. Yeah, it's like a different rendition of Lay's barbecue, classic barbecue. Like a lighter version of it. Now we're gonna try Lay's wavy chips. Korean spicy chicken with cheese. Ugh, this is so hard to tear. So I don't like tearing like on the side because it's not uniform uh, and it's just more difficult to close with like rubber bands. I like opening from the top. It is harder though. Cause sometimes they're not meant to be open that way. All right, I guess I, can't open it. Okay, so I gotta tear it. Oh shit. No. No. I can't even tear it like that either. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some scissors. Okay, I have scissors now. It doesn't smell like, it just smells fake. I guess it smells like cheese. Oh yeah. That's cheese flavor. Oh, I'm getting a kick. Definitely spicy. Not too spicy though. It's a good kick. Yep, it tastes like cheese. Does it taste like chicken? I don't know. There's like a subtle sweetness to it. I wouldn't say it's bad. <laughs> it's good, but it's not like, compared to the other two, I like better. How, how are you supposed to mimic the flavor of chicken in this? Or the other one, beef. Like They got spicy and cheese correct. Chicken, I don't know if it's there, like in terms of tasting like actual chicken. Now we're gonna try the Brazilian barbecue pork rib. If I can open it. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Doesn't smell like, is this what meat's supposed to smell like in chip? Well, let's just taste it. That's weird. 
It's not like, cause Brazilian barbecue or any barbecue is supposed to taste like very seasoned, like, like barbecue flavored. This doesn't give you that much barbecue flavor or pork for that matter. Uh, this is probably like the least flavorful compared to the others. It's okay. It's, I just feel like it mostly tastes like like chips with some salt and sugar. Cause it's a little sweet, but it's not, it's not the best. Okay, now finally get to try this football Hanoi. The packaging is really pretty compared to the other ones. Like this is fully decked out. Come on. Okay. Oh my God, it smells like fall. Whoa, it smells exactly like a bowl of pho. You can smell the coriander seeds, the star anise that's in there. Like the seasoning and pho. It's, it smells like a bowl of pho. Let's see if it tastes like it though. Mmm, that tastes exactly like pho. It even tastes like beef. How'd you put beef in here? How'd you manage to put beef in here? Like the other ones did not taste like beef. Yeah, spices, onion powder, soy sauce powder. No, but this tastes exactly like pho. That's crazy. I could put some like sriracha and then hoisin sauce in this because like eating a bowl of pho. This is bomb. Yeah, this is so good. So now I'm gonna rank them. In fifth place, we got the Brazilian barbecue pork rib. Didn't taste like very significant or much like not even barbecue like at least hit the barbecue flavors fourth place i'd probably say the korean one because it didn't taste much like chicken they got like two-thirds of the flavors right it's not much chicken it tastes like cheese and it's spicy but it didn't taste like chicken yeah it was okay i think third is this one yeah because it's like they got the barbecue flavor right it's just a lot lighter compared to like the classic American one. This is definitely better than these two. So this is third. I think second would be this. Cause this is how it's supposed to taste like. Cause I've had other chip flavors or seaweed flavors. So this is very on the same line as that. So this would be second. And then of course, first place is this cause they nailed this. Damn, this is good. It's like eating actual pho. You just need some water. There you go. You got pho. Okay, when you're in Vietnam, totally get this because it's so good. I would even probably get this, but I feel like you can get this go to Japan or like with any like other seaweed. But it's like, yeah, that, just, just get this one. <laughs> So that's the rankings, but there's one more flavor I wanted to show you. Doritos taco flavor. I saw this in Vietnam. I did not see this anywhere in, a, in the States. So I had to get it. <laughs> like how do we not have taco flavored Doritos in the States? Like there's such a big Mexican community in LA. Let's just open this. Oh, all right. Let's try this. Oh yeah, it smells like Doritos. Like any classic Americanized Doritos. It doesn't taste like a taco to me. Not exactly like a taco. It's like there, but not there. So because I've seen taco flavored Lay's chips in the States, and they nailed it with that because it tastes exactly like Taco Bell. This just tastes like Doritos to me. It doesn't taste like a taco or Taco Bell or anything. It's okay. I think they could have done it. In terms of ranking though, I put this probably like fourth out of sixth place. No, fifth out of sixth place, sorry. Just because these are a lot more flavorful. So I would definitely eat these over this, but this has more flavor than the than the barbecue pork rib one. This was just black. Not nasty, just like not as flavorful compared to these. So that's all the rankings. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for my future videos because when I talk about Thailand, 
I'm gonna show you nine different flavors of Lay's chips. If you found this video helpful, you also might like this video.